the town of Titusville. Hi everyone, I'm right here in front of the first oil well that was dug in the United States in 1859. And this is in Titusville, Pennsylvania. This is the birthplace of American petroleum industry. The Drake well. is the site that building is where the first oil well was dug it that's called the drake well and that was dug in 1859 drake well the first well that was dug for oil and like we said is the birthplace of American petroleum industry so here we're going to visit the mm. inside yes this is 1850s 1880s because uh, yeah, they straighten out there. over time to the point where the, sometimes there's hardly any smoke and then you can see like five was like there's one right out through here they're just uh straight spoked yeah. because the metallurgy had gotten so much better that you didn't need to accommodate yeah. that yeah. Wow. wow, that's interesting. Well, you, you have... How are you folks today? Well, the building you see here was built in the 1940s and is a bored actor replica of the original building that would have stood. Where can we, can we go to the original? Uh, this is the location of the original one. Oh, it was located here, but it's... It, it was okay. right here. That is the original hole in the ground that would have been drilled by uh, Drake and Billy Smith. Okay. Uh, they struck oil and kick-started the modern oil industry. Uh, Unfortunately, uh, the building didn't stand the test of time. The engine and boiler are both lost to time. Uh, they could be anywhere. Uh, they would have been taken and used elsewhere. Uh, the only original thing in this building right now is, unfortunately, the whole thing. Uh, but everything else in here is a historically accurate replica. Okay. Walking into this building is identical to walking into Drake's building, with the exception of the safety rails and the light, of course. <laughs> I'm sorry, were you going to say oh, something? Oh yeah, so basically, so this is where it, where it was this the birthplace. This is exactly... So that's why they say it's the birthplace, because... Yes, actually this, the, this is actually the place. Yes. Uh, a little bit on that history. Uh, up until that point, uh, big use uh, for lighting was whale oil. Uh, but by this point in time, whale oil had become hard to get uh, through overhunting of whales. It was never easy to get. It was very dangerous. It was very complex. But whales had been largely overhunted, so it was hard to get. Uh, it was smelly, being an animal byproduct, it didn't burn clean, and it was just generally very expensive, common folk couldn't get it. What do you, you mean by be, whale oil? So whales used to be used? Uh, you would be, a lot of, so whales, whales at one point in time would be hu uh, hunted for blubber, uh, and then they're, they're the fats, the fats in the blubber, which is, uh, it's, a, it's like a fat layer, it's just a little bit different composition, <laughs> would be used as an oil, as lighting, because uh, it burns it burns well. Not very well, but well enough. Um, and for the longest time, that was the source. That was what you had, because no one else really knew of anything else that would burn. Like, wood, wood burned, but, you know, it would burn out, and it was, you couldn't just have a piece of wood standing on your table burning as a lamp. Uh, enter a man down in Pittsburgh, actually uh, perfects a process for refining crude oil into kerosene. It's very similar to uh, like an alcohol still. You heat up the oil and then you have a tube that you can have it condense in and what condenses out is kerosene. Um, kerosene being much cheaper, uh, burning incredibly clean um, and not being as, you know, as smelly as whale oil would have been, especially being ways to get oil. It naturally floated on creeks in this area. Uh, you get that natural motion because oil wants to float on top of water. The water table being so high here would actually, you know, the oil would try to float. Even like underground, it would try to be floating above that water because that water is always trying to seep in. So you had naturally occurring small puddles all over the place called oil seeps. Uh, where the oil would naturally bubble up to the surface like a, almost like a little spring except it's oil. It's the exact same, it just floats to the top. And you could get small amounts, you know, a cup full a day. Mm -hmm. uh, this area, the reason Drake drilled in this particular spot, or, you know, had this plot of land, uh, it's kind of a perfect storm, but one of the reasons is 
this would have been one of the few dry areas in the valley, especially before that dike was built next to the creek. Um, it would have been one of the few dry spots that are controlled nowadays, plus the amount that would have been drawn out of the ground. That's why you don't see them. And I've, again, uh, I don't think I've ever seen a naturally occurring oil seed, but I'm sure there are somewhere. Yeah. I'm sure there are somewhere. So what's and your I, name? What's uh, your name? My name is John. How long have you been working here? Uh, I have been working here since May of this year. <laughs> okay, so what, what made you being interested in this? Or what was the reason? Was it the opening or just you were just interested? Was your interest in? A uh, little of both. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm a college student right now. So uh, having a job is certainly helpful yes. for that. Yes. <laughs> But I've always, I've always loved, I'm super into history and history. I'm super like into mechanical stuff. I work on motorcycles and cars for fun. Um, and I actually, I used to come here all the time as a kid. Okay. Uh, and especially like. Attending? Which college are you attending? Uh, I'm, a, I'm going to Slippery Rock College in uh, okay. Slippery Rock. Okay. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, yeah, because I mean, you know so much and you spoke to it in detail, right? Right. So, and I. Uh, well, do you folks have any questions? No. I just want to see that. Well, yeah, I do. I do uh, want to see yeah. that. Let me. This is a live steam engine. I've been in here since eight, okay. uh, firing the boiler so I can get this going. Okay. Uh, Great. Let me kick this up real quick. Uh, I have really. Copy I've had been struggling with pressure to hold. Uh, all the water wants to keep condensing out, and uh, it's hard to heat some heat up five hundred gallons of water when they get cold overnight. Okay. So. But I should still be able to run this. And it will start, uh, it does pump oil. It does pump oil. So you can see it's happening over there, and it's pumping oil right here. You can see the thing up here. And it's a really nice fish. Do something there and it pumps all the Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Excellent. We came on the original ground of the brick well where the first well was dug for American petroleum industry. As you can see, the students are there working on this and here the oil is pumping. This beautiful dish is the history of it. How it comes from there and it comes down to it. So right here at the birthplace of American Army. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. So this is the original place where the oil industry started down here. Then go back. This is the way. are the oil barrels which is transported to the refineries and after crude oil here are the barrels and then there's railway tracks all around and which was the mode of transportation to get oils everywhere else so very nice to be here here we are at the entrance of the drake well park and this is a picture after covid is over uh, covid is still staggering but we had visited before as we saw the uh, footage before so welcome to the birthplace of American oil industry. Thank you. In Edrickwell, the birthplace of American petroleum industry. Oil, really oil. Can we really do anything without oil? Can we visit people? Uh, can I travel all these long road trips? I couldn't have done it without the oil. We couldn't have traveled across the continents without the oil. So I'm so thankful, especially as this is the birthplace of the American oil industry. Now we're going to look at the train that's passing by. Obviously, that's, these are the trains that used to carry barrels of oil. That's why it's built around railway tracks. Here is the railroad industry that was around it. How oil traveled.